has confirmed a $98 annual delivery unlimited pilot program for groceries in Houston, Miami, Salt Lake City, and Tampa. Now, the program wasn't officially announced, but it was spotted by TechCrunch. Walmart isn't sharing many other details other than saying it's in addition to the free grocery pickup and individual order delivery options already in place in much of the country. Now, Target, Walmart, Amazon, they all have annual subscription programs in place for delivery. Amazon charges Prime members, though, an additional $15 a month if you want Amazon Fresh, those grocery products. Target's shipped program, that's $99 a year for unlimited delivery, and you get that from Target and a number of other retailers with that subscription. Well, Walmart and Target have annual subscription options. Just last week, Target added a same-day delivery option without a membership for $9.99 per order. That matches Walmart's $10 same-day grocery delivery free. Now, there's no option for same-day delivery on Amazon unless you're a Prime subscriber. So that means most of them offer now both membership and that one day without membership, except for Amazon. They're sticking to that Prime subscription if you want same day. And, and grocery, Courtney, as you say, seems to be a priority for all three. Do we have any sense of who is growing their online grocery delivery business the fastest? So it's so interesting that we're talking so much about grocery online grocery delivery when really we know, at least in general in the market, it is such a small portion of the pie. It's something like 5% or even under in the United States for online grocery delivery. We know that Walmart's grocery comparable sales, but that's all in, that's delivery and in-store are growing, and that's helping to drive that in-store delivery growth. But as far as those online grocery delivery numbers, we don't have a lot of insight for the individual retailers. But like you said, Sarah, grocery is such a key uh, category, especially for a Walmart, because it drives that repeat purchasing and that repeat traffic. I mean, it's more than half of their sales. So getting that right is really the key to success for Walmart.